Hey, what's going on guys? Kutos of Critic Wars here and today I'm bringing you a, another Anton tutorial on duty. I'm going to start by installing the plugin, so we're going to download it and extract it to our Unturned folder and into our plugins. So I'll be running a test server and we'll drag it into the plugins, close it and we'll run the server. Once the server is loaded, you can see the duty plugin being loaded right here and we could shut down the server for now and go into our plugins and you can see a folder duty and edit the duty.config when you're using that pad plus plus and you can see the configuration for duty we also got to go back and edit our permissions as well so first off we're just going to go back to duty so first off we can see the enabled server analysis so when someone types slash duty it will show up play name has gone on duty basically enabled admin mode and stuff like that remove admin on logout true or false so basically remove the current rank on logout so basically remove the admin on logout allow duty check true or false if you want to check if a person's on duty message color basically the color of the announce skip helper and we're going to move on to the moderator group now hopping onto our permissions here and I'm going to show you a demonstration so basically if a person in a VIP group and you want to sign that person with the moderator duty well, you would want to create another group with the permissions of whatever you had Obviously change the ID to something else, we're going to name this to custom group And you obviously want to put his Steam ID 64 inside And you will want to add the permission With duty.moderator on that new group just for him And you also want to create a, another separate group which is the actual moderator group and we're going to be adding a, another permission just for demonstration later on in the video which is vanish so basically the person inside this custom group just for him who has the duty moderator command as soon as he types slice duty, he'll be assigned to moderator and custom group. He'll be assigned to moderator and he'll be able to do all the permissions for moderator and also his previous group and the parent group which is default as well up here. And we're gonna use another demonstration which is administrator for admin. So we're going to create another group just for that one person with the administrator duty permission. Gonna name this custom admin. And obviously we want to change the permission duty moderator to duty admin. And we're going to create an actual admin group as well. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to add another permission in admin. So the person inside the custom admin group who has the permissions he previously had, and then say the duty admin will be able to type slash duty and he will be assigned to administrator and have all the permissions in administrator group, as well as his previous group which was custom admin and default group because we stated in the parent group 
Now the reason for adding a custom group for the person you want to assign to have the duty command is because if, for example, we were to add the duty permission of moderator inside a donated group with lots of people in it, they'll be able to access the slash duty moderator and can be assigned to moderator or admin. So that is the reason why we have created a separate group just for that one person you want to have the duty moderator or admin permission. So I'm going to remove that. And if you want to create another group with the super admin permission, it will be duty.superadmin, which is basically the slash admin player name. And he will be having all the permissions and the body text, just like doing slash admin player name. And if you want players to be able to check a person is on duty, you can add a permission, for example, inside group default with duty dot check. So you can do slash duty check space player name to check if someone's on duty. So I'm now in game and I'm going to add myself to the custom group which has the duty moderator permission. Now that I'm in custom group, you can see my ID here. I'll to go in game, type slash P, see the duty moderator permission right here. You type slash duty, you see it will broadcast that I'm on duty. I'll type slash P again. You can now see that I have the vanish permission that was previously wasn't in custom group but only in moderator now if I were to do slash duty to get me off duty you can see it broadcasted that I'm off duty do slash p you can see that I don't have the vanish permission anymore now I have removed myself from the custom group and added myself to the custom admin which has the duty admin permission. If I were to go in game, type slash p, see I have duty admin. If I were to type slash duty, it will broadcast how much duty. If I type slash p again, I have the permissions of admin. So if we look in my permissions here. I have vanish and slash i which wasn't in custom admin and if I were to type slash duty I'll be back to my regular group. Now if you're on duty you will still have the permissions of the previous group which is custom admin. You also want to make sure that the id of the group is the same as the ones in duty config and as for helper it's basically the same as modern administrator it's just a different name and you can create a separate group just for that one person have the duty dot helper permission and also create another group which is the actual helper so that you can do slash duty and be assigned to helper and once he's off duty, he will be back to his normal group. Now that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. Please sort of like if it helped. I have a separate video on how to properly set up rocket permissions just in case you get stuck. And I'll catch you guys next time.